Okay, so the New York Giants, they are a real football team. They beat the Seattle Seahawks 17-12 to on Sunday with backup Colt McCoy. Um, this team is real, okay? And this was a statement win, okay? This proves that if they do get an opportunity to play a playoff game, teams are going to be scared to play the Giants, and I mean that. I, it's just they play such sound football. It just looks like a team that is well-coached. Joe Judge, Patrick Graham, even Jason Garrett. Um, I know the Giants only mustered 17 points, but considering the situation, you look at the Giants' offensive line specifically, Wayne Goldman averaged 8.4 yards per carry. 8.4 yards on 16 attempts. The Wayne train, he, uh, he delivered. The Giants needed him with no Daniel Jones, and he delivered. And you have to give credit to their offensive line as well. Alfred Morris had two touchdowns, had a rushing touchdown, had a receiving touchdown. They just pieced it together offensively. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. A lot of credit, but all the credit, for the most part, should really go towards the Giants' defense for this win. Without their defense, without the play of their defense, which forced a couple turnovers, had 10 quarterback hits, 23 pressures, the offense wouldn't have even had a chance to do what they did if it wasn't for the Giants' defense. This game wouldn't even be close. I mean, Patrick Graham is going to get opportunities this offseason as a head coach if he continues to coach up a defense like this. I mean, this is amazing what we're seeing from the Giants. They're top four edge rushers, right? Lorenzo Carter, O'Shane Ximenez, Kyler Fackrell, they're all hurt. Marcus Golden was traded. Their top four edge rushers are either, have either been, are either hurt or they've been traded. And they had 10 quarterback hits today in 23 pressures, according to Pro Football Focus. So they were able to generate a pass rush, and I'd have to look at the numbers, but it looks like for the most part, they were only sending three or four guys here or there. It wasn't like they were just all out blitzing Russell Wilson. They were dropping guys back, and the secondary was, uh, was doing a great job, kind of confusing Wilson, and Wilson looked rattled. In this game, 6.1 yards uh, per attempt, his lowest of the season, a QBR of 32. The Giants defense rattled Russell Wilson. It's as simple as that. You watch the game, he did not look comfortable in the pocket. And again, it didn't seem like the Giants were really blitzing him a lot or really rushing uh, extra guys. It seems like they were dropping back and the secondary was just doing a great job. And they were playing really well back there. And that's what Leonard Williams actually said after the game is that his eight and a half sacks this season, a lot of it goes to the Giants secondary being able to hold up and do their job and give a guy like Leonard Williams the opportunity to rush the passer. Leonard Williams, two and a half sacks today, five quarterback hits. It's the second time in the last three games he has done that. That's incredible. That's a lot of quarterback hits in a game. All pro level right now, Leonard Williams. That trade is looking like a steal for the Giants. And that's a player, I hate to bring this up, but this is a player in a trade I told you many, many, many times from Twitter to YouTube. This was a good deal. I know a lot of people didn't like it. The third round pick, he was going to become a free agent. All okay. He's a really good player. He's 26, and he might be an all-pro this year. Forget about being just a pro bowler. He might be an all-pro uh, defensive lineman for the New York Giants. He's a big part of what they're doing. He's able to get after the passer, and he was just dominating all day. You just watch him. He's in the backfield every play, getting after Russell Wilson. Incredible. Again, edge rushers hurt, traded, this and that, and they're able to somehow piece together this pass rush. It's not just a, you know, okay, it's like, oh, it's decent. They entered this game 7th in pressure percentage, 1st in quarterback knockdown percentage. I mean, you're talking about one of the best pass rushes in the NFL right now. With what? Like I said, they're the shuffling Jabal Sheard, who they signed off the Jaguars practice squad, who I still think is a decent player, but just think about it. They signed him off the practice squad not too long ago. You got Nico Lalos, you got Cam Brown, Carter Coughlin, you know... What Patrick Graham is doing, this is amazing, okay? And like I said to start this video, the Giants are a real football team. This was a statement win. They have a real shot moving forward, especially if Daniel Jones is healthy uh, this upcoming week. They have a real shot in the playoffs because they are a sound, disciplined, fundamentally strong football team. It's just, it's, it's impressive to watch what they were last year and what they've become, even actually, even the beginning of this season, what they've become this year, um... It's, it's pretty incredible. They've just become such a quality football team. They just look so well coached. And uh, wow. Like I said, this is a real team. Their defense is a real defense. And their offense, once they get Daniel Jones back, will definitely be more dynamic than this. I mean, this was just they try to piece it together, which, of course, given the situation, uh, it's just incredible. And this game proved that the Giants are a real threat in the NFC.